Today I'll be showing you how you can create this like cool pattern. This pattern is based off of Sierpinski's triangle and basically it's like a square but then a rim surrounds it and four tiny halves of that square surround the rim and then it kind of does that again and again. So it's actually not that hard to create. First what you want to do is decide how big you want it. And what I found good was a power of 2 minus 1. So if I want, I'm just going to draw this. It's only going to be two iterations. So it's 2 to the power um it's 2 to the power of 3, so actually only 3 iterations, which is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 minus 1 is 7. So first what you're going to do is start out from around the center and draw 7 horizontal diagonal lines. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, and then you're going to do that in the other directions too. So one, And so once you're done drawing all seven, all four different directions of the seven lines, then what you're going to do is you're going to start to draw Sierpinski's triangle, but a little bit of a variation. So the way you draw Sierpinski's triangle in graph paper is you, so I'm going left to right and going down. So I'm going to start and I'm going to see which points aren't connected to anything. So it's this point and this point. So I'm going to go. And if you see a point that isn't connected to anything, then you draw two lines down. So this point isn't connected, so I'm going to draw two lines down. But now if you look, this point is connected, this point is connected, and this point is connected. So all of the points in this row are connected. Then look in this one. This one isn't connected. So I'm going to draw one right here and branch out two in two different directions. And this one isn't connected, so branch out like that. And then if I scan the next row, I can see that this one isn't connected to anything, so I'm gonna do that. And this one also. And then the next row, And now I finished with this side. Now you can turn it so that it's facing down again. And now you can repeat. And now I have completed this three iteration version. And I could keep going bigger, but that would take a long time. And what else? if you have ginormous graph paper, you could try even five iterations. This is only four iterations, but I'd need much bigger graph paper. So yeah, you can also color it in to make it like this. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. And the number of colors you need is the number of iterations you have. So this is four iterations, so I need one, two, three, four colors. And yeah, it looks pretty cool.